I'm Matt Hogan, and this is my right-hand man, Christopher Bingham. Hi. And uh, we own a company called Wheezy Soup. Uh, it's a company where we do, uh, we create games. We have a game out right now in the App Store called I'm Acting Here. You can go to www.imactinghere.com to download it. Uh, and we do a lot of charity work with uh, a bunch of YouTubers, and we're really proud of that. So I'm going to turn it over to Bing to kind of tell you guys a little bit more about that and um, see what all he has to say. Yeah, so the app is the app is great fun. We uh, we're actually working on version two right now, trying to um, and get Android it, get it well. to yeah get it to a point where we can release it on Android as well as iOS devices, and just build up the the community around it to a point where we can afford to to generate version two, make it even better. Um, and part of what we're doing is popping balloons. <laughs> <laughs> part of what we're doing, um, part of what we're doing is. Um, growing the brand by uh, reaching out to fantastic talent here on YouTube and saying um, we want to promote you, we want to promote the app and we also want to give uh, half of what we take from that promotion to a charity of your choice and that's going really well so far. Right. We've given a lot of money to, ch to a, a selection of great charities and we've worked with some fantastic YouTubers who are, some of them are here actually uh, hanging out by our booth and saying hi to people. Yeah, and, and, I mean, we, we're also expanding our brand beyond just doing app development. Uh, we're working on a project right now called Rocket Tent, uh, and it's basically just branding and other products for uh, YouTubers. So we'll help them establish their brand and develop it to look legit and feel legit, which is something that a lot of people struggle with. And, um, you know, I think that's very important because your brand is your identity, and without brand without proper branding you don't appear professional and that you need to appear, appear professional in this industry um, yeah, my, my life as a youtuber is is a life as a one-man band as a you you are your face you're the face of your product you're the face of everything you do you become your own brand you become your own PR guy and we want to offer a service that helps people handle that side of things and Absolutely. get on to making creative things Absolutely. So yeah, uh, I guess if you want to check us out, you can go to wheezysoup.com. Uh, you can follow us at Wheezy Soup, uh, or you can go to I'mActingHere.com and download the app for 99 cents, available on iOS today. So yeah, I don't know how to end this. No worries. Yeah, we anything did it. You wanna, anything, anything you want to hear from us? Any questions? Yeah, you yeah so we do have a, a bunch of standard questions that we've been kind of asking. Okay, but based on what you said though, uh, what's been the most satisfying project you've worked on? I mean, I, I would say I'm acting here is pretty satisfying considering the fact that we do have the opportunity to work with a lot of artists and we do have the opportunity to give money to charity and thus make a difference in the world in a positive uh, way. So I, I would say I'm acting here is very, very much so rewarding. Um, also, I would say working with Chris on the talk channel is also yeah. extremely rewarding with that uh, over at youtube.com slash talk, which we like to claim ourselves as YouTube's debate team. Yeah. I, uh, I I'm relatively new to the Wheezy Soup team, so I can't I can't lay too much claim to the to the app. But I'm hoping that the things we've got in development right now are things that I'm going to be really really proud of. You know, I come from a filmmaking background, so my favorite things are music videos I've directed or my web series Hi I'm a Drawyer, um, which I think to date has over 1.4 million views, which isn't a lot, but it's it's fantastic. So what's been your, what would be your dream project that you haven't tackled yet, but would like to start one day? I, I honestly, for me, I think it's Rocket Tent. I think that's my thing, working with people to help them develop their brands and grow themselves. You know, uh, I'm, I'm 20, you know, I, I am a go-getter and I'm all about building companies and building brands and helping other people succeed. Um, and, you know, I love working with new people. So that's the goal is to build Rocket Tent. I'm kind of the artist side of things. I'm, uh, my big things are just the web series, the big storytelling things. Like I want to, I want to get to a position where I can fund a fantastic, expansive, like maybe interactive storytelling experience using YouTube and using the platforms right. that we have access to, and maybe even integrating with apps and and web web design and using all these things and using Matt and using Wheezy Soup and. Um, <laughs> And yeah, my thing is telling stories primarily, and I, I, I love YouTube and I love filmmaking for that reason. 
It sounds like um, you do a lot of behind the scenes work, is that correct? Yeah, that, that's yes, kind of how absolutely. I like it lately, yeah. So you don't have the problem with some of these people here have of being recognized in odd places? I mean, yeah, I, I've been recognized in the bathroom before, so that's a little, that's an awkward, that happened at somewhere in the city. I was literally taking a leak and someone turned around, I turned around and the guy was like, are you Matt Hogan? And I was like, hey man, let's, let's step out of here so we can take a picture, that'd be great. Uh, I mean, I appear in my own stuff. I, I do sketch comedy and short films as well, and um, and I get recognized at these things. But uh, my audience is very niche, and they're slightly older. And I think I just I don't get that. That's for me. I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I, I don't get that kind of that kind of response. And you know what? I'm happy about that. Okay. I, I normally would end it here, but I want to add one more thing. I thought that was awesome that just happened. <laughs> and that you responded the way you did. So one of our other questions is what kind of happy accidents um, have happened that you are glad that happened? Meeting Chris. I mean, like, this is my boy right here. Yeah, He's my right-hand man. We met this time last year at yeah. Live. I met Cre Craig Benzine, uh, my, who's my business partner, Kevin Kanjan, and Chris, who all worked for Wheezy Soup uh, at Playlist this time last year. So. Uh, I, you, you couldn't have, I couldn't have predicted that happening. You got a playlist to thank for all of this, yeah, basically. Yeah. Thank you, playlist. <laughs> I, um, I don't know. It's little things, I think. Little happy accidents that happen at these kind of events, particularly. Like, uh, I came up to, I was approached by a fan yesterday who had made me a fantastic shirt based on one of my videos. And I, I loved it so much, and I almost immediately said, that's, you know, other people would want to wear that, so I'm going to be in touch with her, and I'm going to commission her for a real design. And it's like that kind of thing still says to me that there's great value in community, and this kind of thing reaffirms that. Well, good luck, and thank you for talking to us. <laughs> but that's going to be an awesome ending. That's all for me. I'm sorry.